Yes, in, uh, on, on behalf of the Italian Informa Foundation, on uh, 2004 uh, we conducted a randomized phase 3 trial for uh, high-grade uh, uh, DLB patient affected by diffuse large B-cell lymphoma and uh, eligible for high-dose therapy and uh, transplant. We demonstrated uh, on 399 patients that uh, the, uh, the consolidation after a brief course of chemotherapy dose dance with immunotherapy uh, like uh, rituximab CHOP or rituximab plus intensified CHOP is able to intensification with a scheme with IDOSRC and uh, autologous stem cell transplantation consolidated with BIM is able to uh, determine an advantage in failure free survival but compared to dose dense uh, chemotherapy alone. Uh, on contrast, we demonstrated that there is no difference in overall survival between the chemoimmunotherapy dose dance or the chemoimmunotherapy followed by a dose therapy and autologous stem cell transplantation. Yes, in uh, this uh, meeting uh, we uh, presented in uh, sub-analysis with uh, the biological aspect of uh, diffuse large B cell lymphoma. And uh, in a subgroup of uh, 125 patients, we uh, were uh, able to determine it by the Sanger, uh, um, the Sanger analysis uh, the TP53 mutation. TP53 mutation is uh, very well known as a poor prognostic index, uh, in, uh, as a poor prognostic uh, biological characteristic uh, in uh, CLL patient and in mantle cell lymphoma patient, but it now only few retrospective data on, uh, on um, uh, population of diffuse large B cell lymphoma is uh, available. And uh, in our series uh, we, of patients, we demonstrated that uh, the P53 mutation uh, determined a poor outcome uh, in uh, the um, diffuse large B cell lymphoma patient. The TP53 mutation that is present only in the 10% of the LBCL uh, determine a poor prognosis. We observe that uh, at 5 years, the failure-free survival and the overall survival of P53 uh, wild type uh, is uh, very impressive uh, with a failure free and overall survival more than 70% of uh, 70%. And uh, in uh, P53 mutated, this uh, failure free and overall survival um, decreased uh, until 20-25%. Uh, Yeah, it now uh, it is uh, not uh, simple uh, to identify a new treatment uh, for this patient. In uh, our trial, uh, we don't observe, uh, we don't uh, um, record uh, any difference between uh, the P53 mutated patient treated with uh, chemoimmunotherapy dose dance standard or uh, with intensification with high dose chemo plus auto transplant. So the uh, chemotherapy, high dose chemotherapy plus uh, transplant uh, is not uh, the better choice. Uh, nowadays uh, we can uh, identify the patient with uh, P53 mutation and try to uh, target uh, the therapy uh, on P53. 
and uh, on this effort we can uh, identify some new agents, uh, some uh, like uh, um, proton kinase uh, inhibitor uh, or other novel drug that can be able uh, to uh, target uh, P53.